Yo, happy Friday, everybody. Happy freaking Friday. How are we doing? We got a big weekend coming up here. We got this uh, Lukazi West Coast Tour kicking off tomorrow. And uh, yeah, just been working all week on getting the graphic overlays and getting some, uh, some good looking stuff for you guys. But things have been going well. Uh, what am I doing? Oops, that's the wrong one. My bad. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I had to make a separate OBS scene for the... Uh, for the old Friday night fights, but uh, we're, we're ready to rock and roll, baby. We are ready to rock and roll. Is that what I wanted to do? Why does that look like that? I don't like that. talking cool how's everybody doing what's up steve what's up snooker what's up alejandro we got some uh this is not race to 11 for 200 dollars, guys <laughs> the race is wrong on there we're racing to five in the first set the second set's gonna be real interesting guys second set is a guy named ross Fragroso from uh, thousand oaks california he's from uh basically the los angeles area and he's uh, in town for the Lukasi West Coast Tour, and he's playing one of our local solid players, Jeremy Long. So very interested to see the outcome of that match personally. What's up, Grubs? What's going on? We got Brubs here, guys. Brubs is here. There he is. What's up, yeah. Tosh? What's up, GWN? Yeah. Yes. All right, let me get the race fixed here. Mm. We are racing to five. Next set is racing to 13. They're in for 500 apiece. Is that his actual name? Woodrow Falls? Yeah. Wow. Elegant name, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, like it's something out of a it's book. It's a very prestigious <laughs> name. Yo, what up, Odiums? He does go by Bones. Yeah. He does go by Bones. I remember uh, playing him. He used to play in the B tournament. Were you around when he played in the B tournament? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he actually, hey, uh, Steve. two years ago, <laughs> had a serious accident. Oh, and, really? like, I think he shattered one or both of his ankles. I, I don't know. Oh, no. In a, on a motorcycle, I think. And look at him. He's up and moving around and, and yeah. looking just like he always has. So, um, 
you know, great to see him back and playing. Oh, tin can. We've got two chat boxes, guys. We got two chat boxes. Where's my other chat box? Get rid of that. He uh, he played pretty good, from what I remember. I mean, certainly he's yeah. he's got a four eighteen preliminary Fargo, but I certainly believe uh, at least before he was probably pretty close to five hundred. Um, so. Kind of nice. I, I don't really recall how he played. Sure I, I, sure. I just remember playing him, you know. It's yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Got you. What's up, nerds? Randy Stahl, what's up, dude? Randall. Randall Pink. Jinx it up, Stahl. Look at this shot. Oh. Eh. Exactly, okay. Snooker. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dude, Mr. Uh, Mr. Odium, I'm doing great. Friday's going great. I'm about ready to pour a, pour a cold one and chill with my boy Grubbs here and watch some uh, sweat some action. Yes, sir. We can uh, take a quick look around the room, though, guys. Take a look around the room. We got some we got some good players here. Oh, yeah. Is Eric Stanley, Rudy? Rudy Boy. Rudy Boy. And is that, uh, that's, that's uh, what's his name? Uh, Rob? Well, there's Oliver. There's that guy that, wearing that the same guy. exact outfit outfit that he <laughs> absolutely shocked everybody out of the U.S. Open with. Yeah. <laughs> Bones did make the seven ball, but he's gonna. I'd never, I'd never take that off. Yeah, I know it, but personally, I'd never <laughs> take it off either. Bones is gonna hit that eight ball just a touch thick. Um, Joaquin Colado has been playing in the. Uh, the B and C tournaments around here for decades, man. At least a decade. I've been playing for a decade, and he's been I, here longer than me. I, I like, ooh, oh. overcutting the ball, almost scratching cue ball coming down. What's gonna happen? Mm. Gonna leave a hanger over the side. Youch. Um, I recall playing him for a long time in the B tournaments. I don't. I'm not. Yeah, me too. Cue ball's going a little quick here. He was going a little quick, maybe side. I, I like this shot. When I'm playing yeah. a guy, when I'm playing a guy 500, you know, 450 to 500, right. and I end up here, I'm happy because if yeah, I yeah, miss yeah. it, I'm probably leaving no shot for the. the yeah, unless you, know. you hit, unless you hit the point, which. Right, that that can definitely <laughs> happen. Yeah, <laughs> that's 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 my go-to. <laughs> hit the point. Oh, he called the corner. He called the corner. Whoop, 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 clicking stuff. Don't mind me. Oh, no. So, yeah, it's going to be an action-packed weekend, guys. Uh, who else we got down there on table one? Didn't we have action on table one? I didn't recognize. I was I was in uh, Grub Zone. Oh, oh, we got some oh. action. Jeremy Long, RBP. You know, all the usual suspects, plus, yeah. a, plus a few more. <laughs> a few. Yeah. Uh, Derek was that uh, Swoop was asking me if I was going to play in the first of the month. I'm like, ah. The first of the month? Yeah, tonight. Oh, the first of the month eight ball. Yeah, no, I'm probably not playing. I only got like three hours of sleep last <laughs> night. You're probably in the oh. same boat. Uh, no, I, I, well, let's see. I, when did I wake up? I got, I got about four or five. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, like, you know, that's like a couple days. <laughs> uh -huh. Joaquin has the same Fargo as me. This will be fun. Wait till you see him break the balls. That's fun. Interesting. D well, different? His, or? He's just got a, uh, his break stance is very, hi -ya! This is going to be, this is going to be game number one. A little smack of the table there. Never like to miss a ball that close. Am I going to interview Jerry Johnson? If he wins the thing, I'll interview him. If he wins that tournament down there, I'll interview him. There it is. Bones gets the first game. Out in the front of the room, though, things are just starting to uh, things are just starting to heat up. As far as uh, oh, there's uh, Simon Simon Dudley, yeah. So he's from Washington, I think. Aton is here. 
Aton is here. Yep. Carl should be here just about now. Yeah, yep. Carl's there. Carl I got. I got to go swing by, talk to Carl momentarily. <clears throat> and the uh, the bar top is starting to fill up. We got Carla Beato at the U.S. Open on the TV. Daisy, Duffy. Everybody's oh, that's weird. Here. I thought it was Daisy from the back in the white hoodie. <laughs> I didn't see. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the second set, guys. Oh, yes. That is going to be some high-quality stuff. I've never seen Ross play before. I was watching him play Jesse he's, one pocket. He's like a Ian Costello. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he, played, he played pretty good one pocket. Yeah. He's got that uh, kind of cuffed under grip, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Where his, his arm is like twisted towards his body, but he's, oh, yeah. he's played with it for so long and he plays so much pool that it works, you know? Yeah. And uh, he's got, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting set to see. Because if he's been playing a lot lately and he's in stroke, he's going to give Jeremy a real tough time. And, and uh, Yeah. Yeah. But we all know Jeremy. We all know he can play some 10 ball, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Chat's pretty quiet tonight. We don't have any of the uh, we don't have any of the chat addicts in the chat. Well, we got Snooker. And well, we yeah, but we don't have anybody with access to these ah. in the chat. The other one is here to uh, now too, Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike is, is here. here. Yeah, I think he might have. Did they step out or are they? Nice shot by Bones there. I'm, I might go after this in the corner and, and uh, yeah, it's run into the five almost. There's no scratch. Like or, or run into the six. Yeah, he's going in the side pocket here though. Oh, he is going for the corner. Okay. Turned out pretty good for Bones. Everybody watch yeah. the hit. Somebody get a camera in tight. Take a look at this one. Can't reach it. The bridge is going to make it even <laughs> tougher to, to have a good hit. What's up, Shannon? There she is. There's one of our uh, one of our fellow emoji users. Oh, he went for the bank. I I kind of thought oh. That's kind of what I thought he was going to do. Just from knowing him. Gotcha. Just so he doesn't threaten or, or flirt right. with the uh, the bad hit. Yeah, this match will probably go till around 7.30, I think. If it goes hill hill. Yeah. But if Bones, you know, keeps getting opportunities like this. You know, obviously the the next two shots are, are key here. He called the bank hmm. and made the wrong ball. Made both of the wrong balls. <laughs> you know, I don't. I'm. I think giving Joaquin ball in hand here is a good move for Bones. I'm serious. It's tight position on the eight, and you're gonna have to move the cue ball even if you get there. You just got to go to, like, center table, right? Yeah, but those types of shots. These types of shots right here is where it's like it's easy to either miss the ball, or if you make the ball, it's also easy to get a bad angle like on the nine. Like, maybe eight inches closer, and it's, like, significantly better chance. He hit it perfect. Look at this. Look at the speed. Look at the speed. Oh, oh. my gosh. Gotta like it. Ooh. But this is kind of what I meant about, yeah. you know, it's a couple of big, you know, a lot of, lot of movement with the cue ball and, yeah. and a lot of things can go wrong. You know, playing 10 ball at around that 450 to 500 range. Right. Calls the bank, doesn't make double, it, goes double. in the wrong pocket and scratches. Holy. Oh, no.
Are they? Wait, are they wrecking for each other? Or is it? It looks like they are. Wreck. They are wrecking for each other. That's oh, cool. Okay. And they're playing with a template. That's kind of yeah, you know. Yeah. I, I respect it. I definitely respect it. Ooh. Extreme. Extreme. Is that the YGW right there? Or is that... That is... Uh, young no, Henson. That's, that's Young Henson. I see. I didn't know Henson was wearing glasses. Oh, yeah. He's out there with some, uh, with some specs on. What's up, Michael? Mike Aldaffer, what's going on? Michael! I disagree, James. I play chess, so. <laughs> Looks like he's pushing here. Yeah. Ooh, what's going on with my uh, scoreboard? Sorry about that. Chess players play better pool. Bring it. Bring it, James. If you have enough time to get good at chess, you don't have enough time to get good at pool. Mm. They both take so much time. They both take equal amounts of time. So much time. to get like God. truly proficient at them. Yeah. I remember T. Uh... Mike, oh, Michael <laughs> Aldaffer just used the "Where's the cue ball?" going. <laughs> what? Did you see that emoji? Did I make that when you were in here? No. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> it's a little Where's Waldo cue ball. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> and explain grubs, yeah. <laughs> we definitely have some explaining to do. Yeah. He's sending this cue ball at the three. And he's going to he make it. it. <laughs> he's going to make it. I remember, uh, so... You didn't know Braden Murphy? Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? I didn't know him personally, okay. but I, uh, yeah. So so he asked me to teach him how to play chess. Yeah. And he he literally didn't know how the pieces moved. Oh, yikes. So, so like, when he asked me to teach him, that was, like, like it was, like, from teach scratch. Teach him how to play you know? chess. <laughs> yeah. And, but, he like, he was, so... So like did he become really really good at chess? No, he was oh, okay. like he like he got he just got good. No, he was a poker player, right? Yeah, he was a good poker player. Yeah. Um. But so that was the thing, like like so when he like, I gave him lessons for you know it was like, what, a couple months, and like he just put me in a tournament or something. That was the payment. For that, sure. You know. And so, uh, um. But so after after a while he go he goes man like I I, I wanted to, I wanted to get good but like it's too much effort he's, yeah he's, he's like he's like God oh, like just teach me how to like to where I can like understand look at this shot, look at this shot. ooh go look at this shot wow let's go walk just roll it don't punch it just roll he's it. going he's going around. Just roll it in, walk. Just roll it in real slow. Oh, hey, hey. Go. Yes. Yes. Only for you. Yeah. I'm going to go get us some drinks. You guys want a drink? Absolutely. Oh, oh, come on. There. I would love a beverage. What do you want? Let's go. What about you, Grubs? Same. All right. Uh, give me a little mic check back there, Camila. Pull that wherever you want it. Are you sure I can pull it? Because last time I broke it. Was that you? Yeah. Hey, let's go. My mic sounds nice. Check one. It's perfect. Cool. All right, I'll be right back. Dude, Michael Aldaffer is right there with all the <laughs> with all the <laughs> spots. <laughs> Do, 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 do. 
So what are you doing out here tonight, Mila? Just a little practice, or? Uh... Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking that I'd get a table at this time of day <laughs> on a Friday with the tournament with coming up. With a big up. tournament coming. Yeah. But you know, a girl can dream. Yeah. So I thought I'd come harass you guys in the booth. All right, sounds good. Have you ever been in here before? Are you asking me that question for real? I've been in here with you before. How many uh, beers have I, you had already? Uh, I was probably no. I, I was. I was probably. Ah. That was that was probably the thing. <laughs> I vaguely remembered you being in here at some point, but I yes. remember. You, yeah. 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 The yeah, last time I was in here, I think uh, Rolando was in here as well. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Radio Rolando. Radio Rolando. Oh, who is this? Um, this is Mila. Camila. Camila. Como en español. Torch. One of our uh, local players that I just see you battling with the same person every time I come in here. You know, it's pre it's pretty entertaining. I just I just walk in. I see Camila and Frank. I, I see Camila and Frank playing, and my day is complete. You know. Ah. <laughs> I love me some Frank Pitts. <laughs> Snooker. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> A football salesman. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, who won? Joaquin just got that one. All right. Um, player one. I never knew Bone's first name was Woodrow. I know. That's what we, we were saying. It's like, uh, like he should be the president of something. Nah, you know? Woodrow Wilson was not a great president. <laughs> <laughs> what year was that? I don't know. I just remember he was super, super racist. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think he's the president that premiered the movie Birth of a Nation at the White House, and that was a very racist movie. Yes, unfortunately. Yeah. Can you there drop will one? Be that. Yeah, there will, there will. So be it. Can you drop one? No? No, no, James. One pocket is chess. Nine ball is, what is, what is nine ball? Or how about, how about this? Uh, eight ball is the middle game in chess and nine ball, <laughs> David. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that yeah, mm. yeah. Sorry, David. Um, so the middle game in chess is eight ball, and the end game would be nine ball, because you got like the end games just uh, um, completely about execution in um in chess so i'd say that's kind of equivalent for the you i mean you got me on the chess and pool analogies i don't play chess well enough to make yeah. that kind of analogy unfortunately what's up aaron taylor how you doing buddy That's weird every time I see that. <laughs> every time you see what? I don't have my glasses on. I can't oh, see that far. It's, it's me. I'm an emoji. Oh, you have your own emoji? Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, 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 told, I don't remember who it was I was talking to. I was, I was like, you know, I, I never thought I would be an emoji. Didn't think that one was in the cards. But, um... 
And but he says, you know, there's a lot of people that know you that just think you're an emoji uh, <laughs> in real life. So <laughs> it just it just got it just got put there, you know. So yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Are you out here tonight, Aaron? Uh, that's unfortunate. Will he get lucky? Nope. Let's go. Mm. Oh, damn. Almost perfect. He hits the ball pretty well. He does. I was just... Looking at his stroke and he hit it pretty straight. Um, you play a lot with walk, don't you? Um, I played Joaquin a bit, yeah. He, yeah, man, when Joaquin is on, he is on. Yeah. There's no stopping him. But when he's not on, yep. he is not on, <laughs> and he stops himself. Yeah. Oh, nice. Aaron Taylor living the life. Let's go Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> What's going on, Anton? Oh. Wow, with the oh, super. Did he get lucky? No. With the super cut. <laughs> so you're not going to play in the uh, eight ball tournament? No, I have a pajama party that I need to attend later tonight. Oh, okay. With a bunch of lesbians. Yeah. Oh no! Tragedy. Yeah. Isn't that like the set up? Did did I accidentally? It is three one. Right? It's three one now. Yes, with that right. rattle of the ten ball. So walk won the first game, and then it's the last three. Yeah, he's he's missed a few. No, Walk won the third game. Okay. I believe you. <laughs> I'm I'm still I'm still in I'm I'm still in Grub's world, you know. Uh, uh, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Must be a nice place to be. It is, you know. Oh. He does! Oh, let's go. I have a beer for you. Oh, man. You know what, Collins? Well, I love you. you. covering for me while I was gone. Oh, I appreciate Keeping you. Keeping Grubbs entertained. Oh, my God. It's three to one. Holy crap. Yeah. Walk has... Uh, Walk has given... On. He's given up another game. Yeah. That's all right. Hopefully he gets it. Yeah, well, he doesn't have much time to do it. Uh, all right, gentlemen. It's been real. Thank you for the beer. Camila, Collins. it is my pleasure. Uh, yeah. Great to see you. Hey. All right. Have fun out there. Yep. Aaron Taylor in the chat. What's up? Watching at home soon to be in the hot tub with a patio TV stream while soaking. I thought I thought I said smoking. I was like, oh, yeah. Did you, you pick up the, the reefer? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no. I do not. I do not need a. Yeah, a actually, minute. Aaron, could you do? Could you do us a favor and just go ahead and order one of those over the phone? Give him a credit card over the phone and uh, get a shot in here for for Grubs. A little Fireball malt liquor shot. How was that for you the other day, Grubs? Uh, 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 that's how that was. Uh, I have to. Please uh, no. Please, honestly, please no. <laughs> uh. <sighs> have to I just found out a couple days ago or maybe four days ago that there were two orders that have been on hold that I didn't know about hmm. from the uh, merch store yeah and uh, I got to get them rolling right now and I'm gonna send them each a mug too on top of what they ordered 
Because, uh, because, oh, yeah. oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been three weeks. Um, so I'm going to work on that right now. <clears throat> yeah, I like the way Bones hits the ball, though. Yeah. I think he's definitely above a 418. Oh, 100%. He's above a 418. He, he moves the queue pretty good. Uh, I think he plays with a regular maple shaft. I might be yeah. wrong about that, though. It might be a low deflection shaft, but... Uh, He, he can draw the ball when he needs to, you know? Like, he can get some good action on the cue ball when he needs to. Um, you know, obviously, execution percentages are... Aaron. <laughs> God damn it. Daisy will deliver shortly. Are you uh, serious, Aaron? Don't mess with us. And Daisy's going to hate you, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Dargan? Oh, that's the joke. I get it. That's the joke. Aaron knows that Daisy would hate it. <laughs> Funny joke, Aaron. Ah. Uh, is the main card a one-hole game? No. Uh, it's 10-ball. Race to 13. Uh, we're going to see some guys that are very good at the post-break and pretty solid at the break. Play a race to 13 10 ball for 500 a man. Um, that's the last that I heard it was. Not saying that it will go up, but I wouldn't be surprised if either of them found some extra action. Uh, if you know what I mean. Mitch in the house tonight? Mitch Ellerman is here, yeah. Oh. Mitch Ellerman is here. Wow. Yes, sir. Nice. Did you already... Um, you saw him tonight? Oh, yeah. I talked to him already, yeah. Ah. Okay, there's that. What's up, Sean? <laughs> Apparently not, Dargon. What's going on in Arizona, by the way? Or you just mean he lives in Arizona? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, no, I guess what? Is he just, he just came for the tournament, I guess? Who's that? Uh, Mitch. Yeah, Mitch. Mitch, uh, Nick DeLeon's coming, coming into town as well. Oh, I saw, so. Ooh, he overcuts the ball. He loses it. Where's the nine ball going to end up? Near the short rail. easy. Not easy at all. Makeable, but not <laughs> Makeable, but you got to send the cue ball like. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, it's like, the cue ball goes there if you... The cue ball went there. It went there. So, <clears throat> I saw somebody post something about salsa, and I'm a big salsa fan. Oh yeah, he makes really good salsa, he really does. So, I well, so apparently he's got like a Facebook page Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Something lion something. Yeah. Yeah. Pocket. No. Safe? No. Oh, sorry. So, he's, he just came for the tournament, I assume? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're, uh, 
number of guys out of Arizona that are planning on following the entire West Coast tour. I think unless it goes to like Idaho, because oh. we are going to Boise, Idaho. But everything mm-hmm. in the Pacific Southwest. I think that them guys from Arizona are planning to go to every stop, which is great. The Cannon. What's up, Senior Cannon? Okay, I gotta send an email now. I wonder... Was, was he trying to, like, go two slash three rails? A good safe. Oh, it hit the point. <laughs> it would have been safe. <clears throat> All right, walk. Here it is. I'll give it to her in just a second. Oh no. Dude, when you're typing email. Did I drop my phone in here? I did. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to bring it to you in a minute. Right, I appreciate it. Thank you. Dude, when you're typing emails in Gmail now, isn't it weird that like as you're typing, Gmail knows what you're going to type for like the next three or four words constantly? Yeah. And like as I'm typing it, it's making me want to change which words I want to use because it's like, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know me. Oh, there. Bones is missing them good tonight. <laughs> well, 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 they're, they're both... Uh, uh, Zach. Ooh. Ooh. What? Zach was asking. Zach. Hey. Oh, Zach. Hey, Zach. Hey, in the chat. I'm like, I thought you were looking out front. No, I was trying to get the beer. Double. Double, it's gonna be good for somebody, not him. I would not have given him that ball. Wow. The ball was like frozen to the rail. Like, well, not frozen, it was like close to the rail. Yeah. Like right by the side pocket where it's kind of, it gets weird queuing up sometimes. <laughs> uh, I've never really. Oh, good, Zach. Uh, yeah, I've I've never really experienced a big earthquake myself. Have you? Uh, no. No, the closest thing I've experienced to a big earthquake is a, a wave pool. At a water park. Not even close. <laughs> mm. That would be a. Uh, um, oh damn words! Oh yeah. damn words! <sighs> Did I meet Zach? Trying to like put the face with the. I don't know. Thing. Zach. Zach is not a local guy, is he? Zach, are you a local guy? No, I don't. He said. Uh, there's, there's, 
But I, I, I swear I had met him before, though. <laughs> Weaverville. That was interesting. Hello, Gerard. Uh, the, the person that liked the stream. Their, the first, it was like David Alejandro, and then it, the last name looks like really Polish. Yeah, like what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm not gonna try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, God. Dude, Polish names. Dude, memes about Polish names. Have you seen? No. <laughs> All right, let's see it. <laughs> see. <laughs> uh, Here's one. <laughs> oh wait, uh, my bad. Hold on. Here it is, guys. Gotta find my YouTube button. Oh, I know what I did wrong. This needs to change too. Here it is, guys. <laughs> when you ask a Polish person their name, <laughs> exactly, dude. Exactly. So close. So cross. Don't, 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 don't. Ooh, finding the scratcherino. Ten ball must be pocketed last, so it doesn't matter where the four ball ends up as long as it's not tied up with the five. Speaking of Collins. Oh yeah, we could we could roll. We could roll with that. We could roll with that. Okay, let me let me email this other guy real quick. Real quick. is uh, death. <laughs> Man, my allergies have been kicking in. Really? Yeah. 
Maybe just because I just started, like, I started taking walks. The thing about allergies, especially if it, like, causes rhinositis, you know, where you, like, start sneezing a lot and get, yeah. like, a runny nose, uh, it's a negative feedback loop, right? So the, like, if you don't get affected at all, then you'll you'll be fine if you get right. affected a little bit and then you then get away it, from it it can it can go away quickly but mm. the second it gets to a certain point you everything it becomes so inflamed that it becomes sensitive not only not only to the thing that you're allergic to but other particles and other dust that you're right. not allergic to and then it becomes like a thing mm. where you have to like completely filter everything out in order for it to get better right yeah yeah I didn't have them until I went to Fresno. All right, let's get you a let's get you a hoodie here, buddy. He hangs out with me enough. The least I can do is get a, get the guy a freaking hoodie. <laughs> Pay him compensation for putting up with my dumbass. Uh, here we go. You wanted the zip up hoodie, right? Or the pullover? Uh pullover. Pullover. The pullovers or, are they're real comfortable. The interiors of the pullovers pullovers are better in my opinion, but Okay. Yeah, um, that's good. Yeah. You have enough zip up hoodies anyway. Yeah. Oh. This is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Bones is gonna take it. Guys, Bones is going to take it. It was one of those sets where it uh, ended up being real quick because it uh, ended up being a little lopsided. Joaquin Collado not able to really get things rolling for himself. Oh, there's Mr. Young Guns. Please, if you watch this back, Joaquin and, and Alex or uh, Woodrow, please forgive me for being a little distracted trying to take care of a couple things while we're live. But uh, we got a heck of a match coming up next, guys. Where are they at? Where do you at? Where do you at? Dude, this guy, I'm super interested to see how, how this guy performs this weekend. Because in my mind, after what I saw at the US Open, not just because, oh, he beat this guy. Oh, he beat this guy. Oh, he got this many games. No, I'm talking about the, the way, way he cues the ball and the way he moves the ball, the way he pockets the balls. I'm like, I don't know if anyone can beat him except guys like Mitch Ellerman, Oscar Dominguez, Nick DeLeon. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, we'll see how it goes. Very, very interested to see there. Let's see if we can find Jeremy and Ross out here somewhere. There he is. Wait, we pan back. The guy that we thought was sitting there with the glasses on is here with the glasses on. Robert Molay. The young gun himself. I wonder. Uh, Avi bought some like pool glasses for him. Yeah. And. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I saw him looking from the other side of the room. <laughs> Avi bought some. Avi did. Yeah. Avi bought Robert a pair. Of oh, oh, he pool. bought Robert the pair of pool glasses. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so when. Uh, um, like he, when he went out to India, he, he bought he bought them. But, right. Uh, and, and and then so Robert's like, hey, you, you, like you work on you used to work on glasses, right? And like yeah, yeah. and and, and <laughs> they're like uh, you you've seen them before. They're those big ones that I think I yeah. think Jerry wears them. Yeah. And, and uh, Jeff Gregory has a pair. So ooh, I like this matchup. Sorry, go on. Oh yeah, I like that. Matchup. Um, Simon and, uh, and Aton. Aton. Yeah. So, 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 but it, nobody shows me, and it's like the, the middle part just like bones. Not only playing pretty decent, but also uh, taking advantage because Block was struggling. Yeah, yeah. It's always nice when the set goes that way. It's almost like, uh, well, I mean, for the winner anyway. It's never nice for the for the loser. Oh, don't you don't have to do that, man. Come on, Woodrow. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Doing good, man. It's uh, It was a good set. I mean, it was it was fun to watch. See you guys kind of... I think this is Joaquin's... 
Yeah, yeah I know. I, I, here, pull this up so, so they can hear you, because yeah. uh, I am curious, because it seemed like you were a little bit apprehensive in the first place. Not not to play, but just, like, thinking about it. I Was just, it like you thought it would be? Like, the, like I just, uh, my nerves, once my, my nerves got over, I was like, man, do, just do what you do every day. You right. Know like, and then I just said, forget it. And right, yeah. Start making some shots, and then I'd make something good, then do something dumb, because I... Yeah. You know, it's learning. Right. Learning, so. It's like, it's, like uh, it's so easy to get caught up in the story that we tell ourselves about what we're doing. You know, oh, I'm on playing on stream. Oh, I'm doing this. So it's like, well, it's just pool, right? It's, it. it's so interesting how uh, that mental battle is so real. And it's so tough to fight sometimes, you know. But uh, it seemed it's, like you did pretty good. It was that back row. Oh, uh-huh. the back row back uh-huh. there. Are like, oh, you yeah, talking about? You're, he's talking yeah. about these guys over here. Yeah. That whole, Everybody man, watching. Look, just look, yeah. look. They're all just watching. Look, he just he there just like yeah, who wants some? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then the secret sniper next to him. Yeah. No, uh, then Dylan. That's, that, yeah. That's the secret. That's the Harry Potter sniper over there. This guy. Yeah. 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 Look, Dylan look, is yeah, the Harry like, Potter yeah. sniper. Yeah. Look at We're him. talking about you. Yeah, you. We thought, yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna have to go back and watch to see what we were saying. Uh, looks like uh, Jeremy's making his way to the table. Um, I haven't seen Ross around the room, but uh, I'm assuming he's gonna be here any minute now. But yeah, thanks for the action, man. It was fun to watch. No problem. Yeah, glad to see you getting the mix. Let me know if you find another victim. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You seen Ross? Yeah, he's walking up. Okay, cool. Uh, so race to 13. 10 ball. 10 ball. 10 ball last, like WPA rules. I assume so. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, just just clarify. Let us know. Or, yeah. yeah. Or I'll ask him when he posts. Either way. <sighs> there we go, guys. Who is Ruger playing? I don't know. I know. He gave 40 of it away. <laughs> Obviously, it's not about the money for that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks like he's in a set with somebody serious. I mean, it looks serious. I don't know the guy sitting down and the, the score at 4-2. to two. I mean, obviously, I would imagine that Oliver's in the lead, but it's interesting to see. Obviously, we don't want to get too involved in what's going on in these sets on the side because... A lot of these guys don't want to be, or, you know, don't care to be streamed. They don't ask to be streamed. So we try not to stay, you know, be too much of a pool hall detective, but still very curious. I don't know. Either very curious. Guys. Well, this is Oliver's friend. Oh. This is Oliver's buddy from, from uh, San Francisco. He he actually played in one or two of the events out there at the U.S. Open, kind of as like a vocation. He was like just kind of hanging out with the pros and fired a bullet, you know. Nice shot there on the five, though. There's Ross. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get the money from Ross. Check out this cue. Oh, Check this out. This looks like some custom work, huh? Interesting. All right, let me go talk to Ross. I'll leave you guys like this for now. Um, maybe a little further out. There we go. Jeremy just clarifying some stuff. See what's going on. Oh, I'm excited to see this. Who does everybody have in the chat? One for Jeremy. Two for Ross. I don't really know Ross. Or I haven't seen him play. So. Yeah, I think so, Adon. But never know. I mean, if Ross is putting up the money, uh, you know, you know, he's got to be a good player. 
Okay, so they agreed on uh, WPA 10 ball except for two and three on the wings of the rack. What? Two and three in the bottom corners of the rack. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not following uh, Scott. What notes? Is that, okay. a, is that a callback to something? <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's Eric, Eric Stahl, having notes about the oh oh the that U.S. Open. Oh oh, that's okay. <laughs> looks like they <laughs> yeah. looks like they just flipped a coin. I'm gonna update the scoreboard right now, guys. Uh, good <laughs> luck to the players. Thanks for the action, and uh, let's jump in. I'm actually gonna take a quick walk around and see if uh, <laughs> see if Melina Mike is here. I might get him to hang out yes. with us in here. I definitely don't come with uh, with notes, Scott, and and you you know that you know I'm not a notes guy. This is one to share, guys. If you're mm, uh, yes. anywhere on the West yes, Coast, yes, 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 yes. even if you don't know these players, these are two of the uh, probably top thirty five players on the West Coast. Yeah, um, really good players. <laughs> Top 50 probably for sure but yeah And we'll get their Fargos here. I know Ross is a 681 but he's he's got a sleeper Fargo and I'm pretty sure it's mildly intentional but we won't go there. I think Jeremy's currently sitting at like 708 710 maybe. Seven twelve. <laughs> it's just creeping up, man. Just yep. creeping up. I haven't seen him much recently. Has has he been in town? Or do you know? Jeremy? Yeah. I think he's just been a little bit busy uh, practicing at home. He's he's oh. been creating some content on YouTube, guys. If you if you're uh, if you're a fan <laughs> of Jeremy Long's, go check out his YouTube channel if you don't already know it exists. Let me give you the uh, the name. It is. I'm pretty sure. Search Jeremy Long. Uh, yeah, you can search Jeremy Long. The first thing that comes up is a Friday Night Fight versus the Roofer, but he's got uh, it's called Jeremy Long Pool Player, and he's already got 444 subs in like a month, and he's got a couple of shorts that have got a pretty decent amount of views here. So, um, just typical drill stuff, um, high level execution videos, uh, not trick shotty, but like. Yeah. Like just showing what he's capable of. Yeah. Yeah, sorry to hear that, Phil. Yeah, Phil, I hope you get better whatever you're you're uh, working through, man. Health-wise, I know you made a post about that. All right, let me let me step out real quick and uh, see where uh, see if we have any Windows open here in the booth or in the building. They might have gone to dinner knowing them guys are all a bunch of foodies. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Going for the three foul. And. Oh, he got a Ross fan in the uh, chat. What's going on, Vic?
they went out to dinner. Nice. Well, what do we got here? I mean, Ross is kind of in the spot. Uh, he's taking a no. long time to think about this. Uh, he's just trying to three foul. Is, he, is uh, Jeremy uh, on two? Or? Jeremy, Jeremy is on two. Okay, well, this is and pretty easy to get out of, don't you think? Yeah. You should be able to twist Z kick at this fairly. Maybe not. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's tough. You can swing it enough to hit like here. Yeah, like, yeah, but you can't. Not, obviously, you can't go not. directly at the one. The two being where it is makes this really interesting because if you accidentally put too much spin on the ball, you're gonna run yeah. flat into the two and you lose the game. It's ac it's actually, uh, well, if you know if you work on it, it's predictable enough. You just shoot straight across, and mm -hmm. then it's predictable like yeah. the amount of spin that you need. Ooh, he's, he's thinking he needs to swerve to get there. This is a real good shot. All these balls yeah. being up here takes away the three railer. Um, yeah, the one railer this way. I That's think, so. It's so hard to because you elevate it. Yeah, but Jeremy's one of them guys that can get straight through the ball. Yeah. In most situations, and right. as long as he lines upright and gets straight through the ball, it should be. 50-50, I think, and it's probably his best odds. I think that this, going this way, is probably like 30%. 20 to 30%. To get a rail, too? Oh, getting I, a rail? Well, yeah, I, I mean, you, ha you, you, have, you have to hit it stiff, but, you know, yeah, it's... Yeah. And you're gonna like you're gonna sell out, but you know you gotta hit. The yeah. Ball. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for. Uh, I gotta update the race, guys. Thanks. We are racing to thirteen, and it's one k posted. Yeah. See, that's what he now. Now he's looking at that. So that that's what I like. I don't know. Now there's a guy next door. <laughs> a guy. <laughs> Baby Frank. A little out, looking like they're going to get some action on table three. I don't know why he feels he needs to. Uh, elevate. He's he's got. I think he has to elevate. Does he? Shoot, it's Oof! Like this is. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Good shot. I mean, it's yeah. not it's not a dead sellout. This five ball, the the four, five, six, seven, is interesting. Hey, Ed. Still says 200 posted, they say? Or yeah, I just, just, just fixed it. Okay. Got to swing this tight to the corner. Four ball might be so, big. Earlier, he did not go for the run out with ball in hand, and I think it kind of, like... It has to I do with where the five is sitting, I think. Well, I, th I, th I think he actually ran into the... Eight. I thought. I thought like five ten combo. And mm. then, yeah, like, the, like, I hate combos, but yeah. <laughs> but it looks it looks good to me. I don't know. Right. I was surprised, but better players than I am. Look so. at how look at how good you can hit that ball. Look, look at his draw speed control. That's yeah. sick. What's up, Shadow Nels? ED, what's going on? Repro77. Mm. Don't scratch him. Mm. Don't scratch him. Woo! <laughs> maybe a little bit of a maybe a little bit of a jelly roll there. didn't uh, what color uh, what? what color in size uh, I'd imagine a medium uh -huh. uh, what is this medium? yeah I think so it's Irish green 
I'll show you the color when it, when it pops up here. Is that color? Nah. Too bright. You won't like too it. Too bright. Yeah. Um, I know your style. Ross does get out there. mute while I get his address real quick guys one second Okay, we're good. I'm going to do economy shipping because I'm in it. There you go. Sir. I'm still waiting on a Snaps t-shirt. Randall. I think like the second time I saw him here, he told me like, like, oh, I'm, I'm going to get you a Snaps t-shirt. Mm. That was, I don't know how long ago. Worked out pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's, it's in the works. That's what he tells me. So big, big spot here for Jeremy. He was just checking out to see what's going on with this uh, four, four ball, ball here. Uh, three, obviously where he got not ideal. what he looks like the whole time he's at the table deadpan yeah super focused trying to leave the three tied up with the seven a little bit tighter but yeah well it's okay because if you were to get ball in hand you can still like uh send the three towards the four and he's he's not getting ball in hand here well yeah i mean i'm just saying if it were to happen. Oh, he's pulling out the jump cue. This is a long jump. Yeah. This is a long jump. I wonder what he's jumping with here. Looks like an air rush to me. No, it looks like something else. DK rush break jump. Good contact. Cue ball's going to get to the good spot on the table. And now Jeremy is... Victim of the jelly roll. That four doesn't go up where he's at, does it? Huh? The it goes up in the corner. The corner that he's at? Oh, no. Yeah. No, I don't think so. It goes, does it go past the nine? Uh, no. Dang. Negatory. Good. This is good. Yes. Good. 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 Yes. Yes. This isn't easy. Cause the uh, the thin hit all of the cue ball like the cue ball is going like straight at all the traffic. Right. 
So it's there's no guarantees here. You want to play the three ball speed more than anything, and that's right. tough to do. And this is what I mean by what I was talking about. Look, yeah. the four ball's wide open. The eight ball goes in the bottom right corner now. Ooh, do you play the, the shot where you just bank the three straight down and then check the cue ball so it tucks up underneath the five? This is a touchy shot, but if you practice it a lot, yeah. If you have clean cueing and no balls in the way, this is very doable. Right. Uh, if he Looks doesn't like, like it. Doing. Yeah, that's what he's doing. No, he didn't like oh. it. Didn't like it. He's using the seven. Uh huh. That's that's not going to be good enough. Not against a guy like this. Pretty nice shot. I mean, Jeremy's got a big pocket for the kick. Yeah. Jeremy's got a big he, pocket for the kick, and if he goes rail first, there's uh, like there's position. safety options. There's, also there's position, position and safety too. options too. So uh, it's it's a containing shot, but it's it can go off in your hand. You right. know what I mean? So he played just strictly three ball. Like you can spin that and like try and really lock lock up, up on, on the, the four. four. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much the worst that it could have turned out for Jeremy, <laughs> yeah. honestly. Yeah. This is a no bueno. No. He's got a, a wall of balls right here to use. Yeah. And he can play the three in the side for free because the four goes up in the corner. Yeah. I like so. Mm -hmm. Ooh. There's actually a lot of good that can happen when you hit this ball too, though. Hit the left side of it. Mm -hmm. The cue ball comes like towards, like underneath the four balls, as long as you don't like hit it scratching the side. Yeah. And then if you hit the other side. I like coming that off the left side of the three right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can he see it? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was kicking. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, and I forget. If he can't see it, he can also jump. I forget I'm pretty ball. sure he can see the left side of the ball to, to shoot at it. Uh, and if you miss it, you want to miss it thick. But he's playing the all-out safe here. Three's going to hang over the corner. I think Ross cannot get over the seven because the four's in the way now. Mm. Ooh, you might have to play the Wiley jump kick. It depends on how big the seven ball is here. I don't see another way to get there. Maybe he can get through there and spin it. Ooh, and if he hits the top of the three, the three pops out right towards these balls right here, and the cue ball goes way up table. Well, the, the three just comes straight across. Yeah. It's not moving towards those. Again. Well, I mean this area. This area. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Ooh, double kiss. The double kiss doesn't sell out. <laughs> Sick. I just broke the chair. Really? No, but it like. Oh. <laughs> kind of rough. Wow, he swerved at the ball and it's going to turn out great. That 
that's a real nice shot. Unfortunately for Jeremy, he leaves a very, very makeable jump shot. Uh, with semi-free position, the tangent line's kind of pointing this way, so it's like uh, the cue ball kind of wants to drift out. Actually, the cue ball wants to come this way, which is scary because when you jump the ball this short, it wants to draw off the ball a little bit. Yeah. Um, he's definitely going airborne here. There's no other shot. Uh and he is playing with that BK Rush jump break cue. So I know how this cue likes to hit the ball. It is so tough to get over these balls this short and put follow on the ball. You almost always put draw. So you almost want to like draw to the rail and back out. He didn't get over the nine because he, he was afraid of hitting it too hard. And now Jeremy's got a, a real good chance here. I don't know if this eight's now tied up. The eight goes now. You can see. Jeremy's ready to do some work, man. Been putzing around for two games. He's like, let me run some balls, man. <laughs> Wait, two games? Is it what? This is the second game. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty nice right there. I know it looks really thin, but it's very manageable. Just straight into the point. Nope, no point. <laughs> you know, that BK rush break jump is, is pretty good for jumping the ball. I'm not going to lie. Now, the air rush is way easier, but it's the BK rush, in my opinion, is probably, probably fourth, fifth place on the market right now. It's really good. Jeremy just making it look so freaking easy. Oh, do you have an air rush now? Odium? Monsieur Odium? Yeah. Careful there, buddy. Jana's watching that that kick that he made where he <laughs> twisted the ball and, yeah. and uh, Z kicked the ball. Look at this yeah. break. This break is sick. Oh, God. That's a sick break right there. Yeah. That's like... <laughs> that's real good. You make this first shot and get premium on the two ball, it's over. Yeah. That's like the dream come true right there. I could get out from here. Actually, ball in hand, perfect. He he didn't hook himself. No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was really flirting with danger, but so good because yeah. he got there. Of course, if he rolls another like quarter ball, right. we're all like, "Come on, Jeremy, why do you suck?"
Hey, Art C. Hawker. <laughs> That's so good. Thanks for sharing the stream. Look at look at the, the stun control. Yeah. To get that precise with the cue ball on a stun shot like that, you're hitting a very specific spot of the pocket. Because if you cut that into the thin side of the pocket, the cue ball slides over like another two or three inches. Little breaky run ski here from Jeremy Long. Looking like it. Ooh, don't get too straight, though. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's it's amazing. Some people walking out on them steps out there. It shakes the camera. It's like, <laughs> good Lord, why are you jumping? Even or he got a game? It's even. Even. You told me this was the second game. Oh, he finished the second game already. That's. And then he broke. He broke the sick break after the second game. This is the sick break. Yeah. Game three. Yeah. Come on, Grubs. Jeremy Long, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy Long. Nice. Message retracted. Did I do jump on a dragon? Funny. <laughs> Corey. Isn't it though, Odiums? <laughs> that makes a little more sense, Corey. Dude, this is off the break? Yeah. God, God. What's he doing to that one ball, man? Uh, just under, or I guess probably past the side pocket and straight towards. No, it goes, when, when you're breaking 10 ball, Yeah. the one ball goes straight towards, like he's breaking from this side, right? You remember? I don't remember. We'll watch it because if you're breaking from this side the one ball just goes straight this way hmm. or like straight up to here and then out to here usually let's see because he's not he's not playing the cut break on 10 ball that's for sure well he crossed him a little bit but still got the same result with the with the one ball this is actually the way the cue ball went here We'll let him shoot the four ball here, and I'll show you the replay. The way the cue ball moved here, he actually got pretty fortunate that the one ball ended up where it did. See, he comes across the balls a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I see. But, the, but you see where the one ball headed straight off the break. That's why he kind of waved a little bit, because he, cr he knew he crossed the balls a little bit. Uh, no, Corey. Um, I'm not playing. <laughs> Richard Simmons. Where's where's the uh um the <laughs> Richard Strickland? Yeah. <laughs> Dick Strickland. And the shot, Jeremy. Where's this cue ball gonna end up? Dead freaking not perfect but great. Yeah. Honestly, I'm just drawing the ball. I'm I'm That's doing the punch draw say, right I, here. I, I, I'm not going forward just because I'm a fish. Watch him just punch it right into the corner. No, he does draw the ball. I like that shot. Yeah, it's real nice. This is looking like two in a row. 
potentially. Ooh, little hairy angle here, actually. No, From this angle, see, it looks can, pretty can, good. Yeah, you can just draw back. From the overhead, it looked rough. <laughs> Oof. Just calculated. Two in a row from Jeremy. Last time Ross made a shot. The last time Ross was at the table, he was up one to zero. How's that feel? Yeah. <laughs> So far, this is the strongest opening to a set that we've seen Jeremy play on stream. Yeah. Without, without a doubt. He, he, no, he normally starts off a little slow. Well, I mean, he's he hasn't put two break and runs together out the gate on, right. the, on, the, said, but on I mean, stream like, before. Like he's, yeah, he, he normally, like when he played Adrian, he got down and then, yep. and then what, he put like a four pack on him? I can't remember. But yeah, that was sick because he was way down against Adrian. Yeah. Came back and won it. <laughs> this song. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's called Afro Shy. <laughs> Look at this. Did he make a ball on the break again? No, he didn't. Dry break. Ross oh, Fergoso's oh. turn. And if the one ball isn't too thin, he should be able to slide up past the eight here. But it looks like maybe... Ooh, he, he can hit it into the thick side of the pocket, right? Yeah, I think he's so. He's looking like he has... He's gesturing like he's forced to go like this. Mm. That's... Very I mean, tough. Because if you go yeah, way out yeah. here, the nine yeah, and five right, are big. Right, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, oh, with a little inside spin. Ew, little jelly, maybe not. Little jelly, baby, give him yes. some jelly. Show the guy the roll. Real nice shot, but still a little bit of a little yeah. bit of jelly. Oh wait, what the heck is going on here? What? Are, are this we... is this is frozen. There oh, we no. go. Now it's not frozen. Uh. We had a new subscriber. Give him a shout out. When, when did we have a new subscriber? What did I miss? Oh. Ross. Dang. Who did I miss? So uh, Ross missed the four ball? Yeah. Is that what happened? Yeah. Well, sitting in your chair. Just a minute or two ago. No kidding. I don't see it. This is... What do you... Hey, if you're new in the chat, let me know. I don't see your name. For some reason, it's not showing up in my chat. Usually, it shows up like right up at the top. Hey, a little thick, but good. Still works. Uh, Ross is going to be put into a coma if Jeremy keeps getting out here. So cheatable here. You can go to any place on the table where he's at right now. 
Jeff Martin's new in the chat. <laughs> but are you a post-up chat addict? I'm new here. Who are the commentators? Uh, I have no idea who you're referring to. Looks like it goes. All signs point to yes. He's looking at the 2 10 8 situation. So, what do you do there? Oh, Three balls. Uh, you might be able to draw off the 10. Look at this. You might be able to get somewhere similar to where you're at now and draw off the 10. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> good luck, have fun. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's hairy for sure. I think just two ton combo. Or, oh, or we're safe. Uh, oh, does the two pass the ten here? Yeah, it does. Yeah, no early tens. Y yeah, but I'm just. Uh, chat, I was talking to the chat. Oh. Even if the two passes the 10, I like just cinch it on the 8 right here. Yeah. I'll just move it just a touch. Oh, here you go. We're going to see what he plans to do with the 8 ball. <clears throat> and I'm going to be honest, I got no clue. Play the 7 oh. off of the 10? Play the 7 off the 10 no. in the side? It's too thick. No, 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 no. Uh, it doesn't go. <laughs> um, does, if the 7 goes in the side, uh, one, two rails in to them and no <laughs> needs no some, <laughs> needs Mike L. Daffer needs some right <laughs> upper bottom Kappa I mean, when I was a 40 speed in USPPA, I'd, I'd just make the five, uh, make the seven, and um, instead of scratching, accidentally hit the 10 ball. There you go. See, this begs the question, why did he shoot the two? Right. I think Jeremy would agree that was a mistake. See, now you might even be able to move this. If the five goes, you might be able to move the seven to a spot where you can move the eight. No. Missed the five. Barely moves the seven. Cue ball straight in on the five. Not going to be able to leave an ideal angle to get on the eight. I don't know what he's going to do here. Play the carom on the ten, maybe? And uh, <clears throat> try to maintain position on the eight? Does the carom on the ten go? No. No. The bank on the eight goes. Yeah. It's actually. I mean, it's one it's of them one not, pocket it's, banks. It's that's not that hard, honestly. It's maybe a sixty percenter, but you're you're betting the whole game on. Right. Oh, I wonder. 
There was a situation in uh, one of the One Pocket matches where Alex Pagalion was playing. And, and he shot at a bank. He needed one opponent to get both of the balls. His opponent has the ball hanging in the pocket. In his pocket. He goes for the bank. Yeah. And they go, oh, you know, somebody said, oh, it's like crazy, you know, why wouldn't you just make their ball? And it's just like, because. You know you're going to make the bank. Because he thinks he's supposed to make the bank. He's going to make a, the bank, yeah. A, a, a good portion of the time. I mean, it was a. It was a long bank, but still, you know, he was—he was probably. I thought he was like sixty-five percent, you know. Right. And if you're above fifty percent, you know, at that at that level. At that level, I think they're more like eighty percent, eighty-five percent. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, like. Yeah. yeah. Without seeing the. It wasn't like that bank. It was like one of the ones that's on the short rail. Oh, right. Okay. So, oh, like a long bank. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But I still like it. Still looks like, like the cue ball was close enough to where he, you know, like you can hit. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, but so there was this big discussion for like yeah. forty-five minutes of what. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> what sure. If Ross has really good speed control here, hitting half ball. You this the cue ball goes here and the seven goes here. Oh, I and you have you I, have three inches of of uh, what do you call it? Three inches of uh, wiggle room. Wiggle room, yeah. That's He's shooting something else. Yeah. Uh, this is what is this? What in the world is this? I think Ross is trying to find some action. What was he shooting at there? Was he think that Jeremy's going to jump out the window and try to do something crazy here? That's good. Yeah, just play the cue ball right down here on the long rail. Play safe. Yeah. Duck and cover. You might even run into the eight if you if you bring it real tight to the corner. Hey. No. No chance. He hit, it, he hit it so hard he was definitely trying to hit those balls. Yeah. So what do you do here? Uh, what? Not that. <laughs> he must be playing the cue ball somewhere safe. I, I I would just like clip right into it, like real thin with high right, and send the cue ball down. Right, yeah. Oh. I mean, even though it's an open shot, this can be effective. Yeah. Ross has been sitting in his chair for four games. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ross has to come with one. But if he does, he's going to have a chance to shoot the nine ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what I mean. Oh. He's got that cold stroke. Yeah. But the eight kind of ties up, doubles up on the nine, doesn't go in the corner. It's real thin in the side, like uber thin in the What's side. What's up, Mike? What's going on, Mike Myers? How you doing? How you been, man? Gosh, there's no like two-way shot for the bank either. I don't know. I'm probably like crossing the eight ball towards the ten, and just sending the cue ball to the end rail. To the short rail. Yeah. This is so thin. Is he looking at cutting this in? Why would you do that, Grubbs? The shot was easy. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at this cue ball. <laughs> oh, oh, 
Oh, just make the ball. Jesus <laughs> Christ, Jeremy. Th this is definitely the best he's ever played on stream. Yeah. And I know he's a great player. Yeah. And I know he's capable of playing this good. Yeah. But on stream, like, uh... Man, he's... He's playing like it's, he's betting his last 500. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, have you seen a list of players for the tournament tomorrow? No. No, it's sign up day of. Mm. So, but we have... We, we know we have Mitch Ellerman, Nick DeLeon, um... Uh, Oliver is playing. Do you know of any like real big players that are coming out? Um. Well, Mitch Ellerman and Oscar. Well, um, yeah. And yeah. Oscar. Oh, I forgot about he's still Oscar. Uh, Vilmos yeah. is gonna play because Vilmos. Oh, Vilmos. Vilmos. I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah, Vilmos and Bao are gonna play. Are gonna run the tournament, but Vilmos <laughs> is also playing. Look at this. One good shot. Oh, it's too good of a shot. Do you just go? Do you just put the pedal to the metal and bank this one ball in and, and follow with a touch of inside to the two? Uh, no, Jeremy doesn't. You know what I mean? Like, the game is going so far in your favor, and the bank I lays okay. Him, no, you know what I do? The I, bank lays okay. You have to acknowledge. I just, put, I just put him, like, around the three and the ten. Yeah. He's going, isn't he? No. Anyway. Oh, he's banking it at the corner and doing your shot, too. He's playing a two-way shot. No, uh, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's just playing safe here, guys. Oh, he's cutting it. The cut shot was on. Ross will jump this in every time. Yeah. Ross will make this ball every freaking time. The question is, does he get Gets any shaped. kind of look at the two? Any kind of reasonable look at the two? Do you... Like, swing around? Yeah, it's, you have to. You have to play it two rails to the two. But, does he get past the five? Negative Ghost Rider. Ah. Ross for Grosso is just up against a wall here, playing against another good player that just doing everything right, and then when he doesn't, and you get to the table, it just doesn't quite things turn out. just don't pan out, yeah. You can't see the ball. But there's a swerve. The swerve is on to make a good hit, but you probably sell out, honestly. Cue ball wants to hit the nine or not do anything. You ready for round two, buddy? Sure. 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 Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hey, there he is. Haked. Hacked. Hacked. What's up, buddy? Thanks for, uh, we got a new channel sub. What's going nice. on? Welcome to the club, buddy. Man, that's real nice. Jeremy's in dead punch. I don't remember the last time I saw Jeremy playing this good other than in, like, there were specific like tournament moments right where i've seen him play this good but yeah if he played this good all the time oh. you're talking like 770 fargo 760 <laughs> 770 fargo i remember a time he played this good when <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, he came up really short here. Look at this. Yeah. Right as I say something, things get interesting. Yeah. You're welcome, Ross. He's cutting this in the corner and going back and forth. You have to play this with a touch of inside or you lose the seven ball. Right. He played it with... Oh, he came to the other side of the seven. And he lost the seven ball. Ooh. You 
just wanted to keep Ross in this game. Yeah, I got to keep Ross in the game. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> I want to have a good show. You know, I don't want to make it look like I'm setting up a blowout. <laughs> no, Ross very much knows who Jeremy is. He he's uh, obviously more than capable of watching plenty of videos of him playing on my stream, so he can see that this is. You know, he's up against Jeremy in, in top form right now. Obviously, until this moment. This is it's a great a cue shot. ball. Great That's cue a ball. really nice shot. Oh. Seven ball's a little fast. It's going to hang up. Uh, it's on the rail, though. This is interesting. <laughs> Look at Ross as he comes up and looks at the ball. On the rail, dude. This is sick. <laughs> 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 like the fact that the cue ball ends up on the rail like if you're new to this game or you you haven't been playing this game a really long time the fact that that seven ball is frozen to the rail and the cue ball is frozen to the rail over uh, here if the cue ball is three uh, inches off the rail hey, it's a hanger yeah but the fact that the cue ball's on the rail all of a sudden oh he's behind the tent shut up it does not look like he's behind the tent It's great. For Ross, that's great. Look at the result. Wow. Mm. What's up, Gerard? Thanks for the love in the chat, buddy. Thank you, too, Shannon. Shannon, you're the greatest. Yeah, you got to play the rail first here because if it doesn't yeah. go, you got to aim to overcut this, right? Comes... Uh, two yeah, rails. if you aim to overcut this, if you miss, the cue ball comes like way down here. And uh, the seven ball goes like this. Ish. If you hit this thick, you sell out. Right? If you if you miss and hit yeah. the seven into this rail, the short rail, it's mostly it's a, a sellout. Is side pocket in the way, though? Is it? <laughs> that's, what, that's kind of... Of of what? Of like the the two rail? The, no, no, no. Just the, just just just. What, oh, what? you mean the rail first? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It might be in the way of hitting it thin. It is. No, 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 no. No, you hit just past the side. It's like right here. He calls the seven. Yeah, he's gonna hit the side of the cue ball right on my yellow it's dot so, right there. It's so. Like... Called it. Yeah, but it's still a sellout because he hit it thick. Right. You're I right. You're right. You're right. I'm right. You're right. Hitting it right here would have been great, but instead he's going to lose the game, and we're going to be able to see Ross break the balls. And, Ross, if you don't get out from here, uh, it's your own fault. I mean, oh, man. Man, he's just sitting in his chair for, you know. Yeah, no, I know. I, and I he know. keeps he keeps getting up against the the rolls. You know, the yeah. rolls are going one way specifically for the most part. Right. He's very capable of making the shot yeah. though, and he doesn't. This is not uh, jumpable. Can he see the ball? It's not jumpable. No. Too You're, far. Yeah, because of how far the ten is from the cue ball. You're never jumping it because of where the cue ball needs to land. Too many times it uh, it jumps off the table. Oh, right. Okay. You could shoot that shot and keep the cue ball on the table, maybe one in eight, one in ten. Oh my god, I thought he made it. Did you see the way the 10 ball like hit the point? It looked like it was going to hit the point and go in. Yeah, I th I, I, th I thought he made it. it was... But instead, Ross gets some free money wow. and a little bit of life. Mm. Look at this cue, man. That is interesting because it looks like it's all uh, like if you look at the points up here. Yeah, it looks like not CNC. It looks like uh, what is CNC? like like knife work. CNC is like a machine that. Oh, yeah. That uh, does everything like computer. 
controlled. Hmm. Jeremy jumps. Yeah, he definitely jumps, yeah. But he's got... He's so strong in the other side of the game that he doesn't need to jump often. Like, just to make a hit, you know what I mean? All right, Gerard, have a good night. Sleep sweet, buddy. Sleep tight. 5 a.m.? Oh, oh, 5 a.m. Yes. I understand that. <laughs> good night, Gerard. You know, that's what my phone has been doing. Mm. It's pretty irritating driving and being <laughs> like, oh, my phone is about dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, uh -uh. Is my camera cooking? It is. It's what? Uh, this is the final match. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My camera's crooked, and I just noticed, and it's put me on tilt. Zoom in here. Put a touch. Wait. Oh. Oh, it's so close. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's not right. That's it. That's it. Perfect. We got an opening. Boom. All right, I'm gonna go for the reload. All right. Nice shot, numbered out.
Damn. That was an opportunity to get a little momentum. Ross obviously still just, he just doesn't look comfortable. Thank you for liking the stream, Powell. We got the likes coming in. Thank you, Joe. Oh yeah, no, I I was watching him play one pocket yesterday. I obviously he's a great player. He's just uh, watching his demeanor at the table. He obviously just doesn't doesn't look comfortable to me. And I know that feeling. <laughs> I know that feeling all too well. Yeah, 680 Fargo. He's supposed to win more than two to one games against me, so I know he can hit a ball. <laughs> Ross hung up a, a 10 ball. Oh, snap. Yeah. Well, he just figured, you know what, you gave me one. Yeah, yeah you know, only fair. And what time do you, the doors open for the tournament tomorrow morning? Divage, we're opening at 10 a.m. Dang. 10 a.m., guys. If you're playing in this thing tomorrow, which, by the way, Sensei Nate, if you're not coming out to play in this <laughs> thing, don't be a nit, man. Come out and play. Uh, no, uh, 10 a.m. And they start play at noon, I think. Sign-ups close at 11. You got to be here before 11 o'clock. If you're not in line before 11 o'clock, they will not take your sign-up. Hmm. Ah. Nice shot. Yeah, that's, that's a real a nice shot. shot. Wow. Look at the tappy tap taparoo on the tap, table. Tap tappy? Yeah. Tap, tap, 
Ross can hit a ball. We had a break and run derby tournament in our area. He won. Broken ran half the racks in that thing. It's a lot easier to hit going two rails. Like hitting the the long rail by I'm the tying one, something but up. Look at these yeah. three balls. Tie, tie the nine up with the five and four. That's nice. Yeah. Ooh, oh. it's kind of lined up like a smorgasbord, except for the fact that the four ball's low, right? Right. So the four ball is low, and what I mean by that is it's low down here, right? And what that means is it forces whoever's going to make the four to do this. Right. Or, right now, to somehow get, get down get, here, which is... Or get, like, the perfect angle, it's like, just not gonna happen. straight it. Well, oh, I mean, the oh yeah, like, get, like, here? <laughs> yeah, the, and the two ball's, like, he's... No, but, he's playing. Uh, yeah, the two rails. He forces him to do this shot. Yeah. And, and, I mean, it's not like it's... It's not a super difficult shot, but it's less than ideal. Right. I'll put it that way. Because when you're coming to the five, you're going to be coming across the line of the shot, which right. means this is the shot line, right? You're going to be coming across the line of the shot with the two ball. I was ball. wondering about that. Oh, yeah, the one rail draw is pretty good. But now you're kind of, like, wondering where do I end up. And if you end up too straight in, like this, yeah. look where the six is sitting. Look at the... Look where... I mean, in this position, in this down real quick. Look at this. <laughs> in this position in the set, do you just play the bank on the six? You know, like yeah, you, you kind of are forced to get out here. You got to be getting out here. <clears throat> Otherwise, Jeremy's just going to convert too many times. Right. Yeah. Um, and this is a little short, actually. This is, I like this. Well, this is if he misses this one, it's probably hitting here, like on that side of the pocket, because it wants to shorten up because he's crossing the ball. Yeah. You don't want to put a ton of right spin because it's going to lengthen things out and make right. you run into the seven, right. right? So you want to hit it with a flat ball, but that's going to make the the six bank short. It goes. He ran into the seven. Uh, and this is what I was talking about. Running, ah. into, running into the seven is not ideal. Is the shark skin cloth faster than the 860? No, it's just a color. It's just a color. Left-handed. Well, okay. I guess like a two-way shot. <laughs> Your two <laughs> red cloth looks faster. Well, that's just because it's hot. Dang. It's because it's hot cloth. <laughs> Who plays on... Dude, you know what cloth should not exist, but is on way too many tables of people who just own a table and don't really play pool. Burgundy. You know, the old, like, purplish-red oh, burgundy cloth, yeah. you know? See, I only know red, yellow, orange, green, blue. Orange cloth? No, I mean, I'm just, like, colors. Oh. Just colors no. in general. You You've say never you, heard of burgundy? I've never, uh, I don't know what burgundy is. Okay. Chartreuse. I Indigo? Know it's like, I, I, I know, I know, Indigo? I know those are colors, but I don't know what, what about, they are. What about mauve? Oh, man. God. It, it kind of makes me want to hurl a little bit, honestly. Mauve. 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 Yeah. Black cloth. Yuck. Oh, <laughs> my dad's... What's going on with my camera not being able to focus here? Oh, man. There it is. A peach, I could live with peach. Oh, we missed the whole ball. Oh, my. What a blunder from Ross. He's... He missed the whole ball. Yeah. Man, the, the way this set is going, it, it, they're making it look like Jeremy's stealing, but he definitely is not. Yeah. He's playing the cue ball off the side of the nine. The cue ball is going to want to go pretty far up table. Yeah. Because um, I don't think he's going to run into the nine very thin. Thick, you mean? You thin. don't. You, you don't think he's going to run into it thin? If he runs into it thin, the cue ball just comes like this. But if he runs into it thick, it goes up like this. Right. I just meant like speed though. Like, yeah. Oh, Ooh, gotta make the seven. Oh. 
Tope cloth. Tope. T O U P E. Guy has guy. Oh my God! What is going on? I was wondering how how far into the pocket it was. Scott Chandler says the guy up the hill from me has orange cloth on his table. How many bodies does he have in his freezer? <laughs> it must be a Bronco fan. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the sevens no seven don't go anywhere here. No, and it's actually super tough to control. Is it frozen? It's almost frozen. It's almost frozen. It's either frozen or almost frozen. Okay. We're gonna go with froze, baby. Yeah. So what do you what do you do here? Uh, no, not froze. We're gonna go with not froze, baby. There's no way that they would get that call wrong. That's an interesting spot to put the cue ball because it's a scratch. Yeah. But if you've got the perfect cue ball, you can corner hook him right now. No way. What are you doing here? It was frozen. Didn't get a rail. Mm. Even if it wasn't frozen and... and Like Jeremy would have had all the freedom to just send the cue ball or the seven right, ball this right, way and the yeah, cue ball yeah. just... Right behind the 10. Too short. Oh Too short. This this table's so slow. Very makeable for Jeremy, but, yeah. but quite a bit short. He's an ex-cop with a shed out back. <laughs> so it could be a body or two. <laughs> Shannon, I'm willing to bet you own a few things that are leopard print. <laughs> Strong button. So Ross is going to take a little break. Yeah, understandable. I think it's actually a good prescription. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, somebody should be telling him to take a break. Yeah, I was saying earlier, like he just didn't. I mean, I know Jeremy was playing great. But even when he got to the table, he, he just, like, didn't look comfortable, you know, at yeah. all. Dude, is Steven action with the kid right now? Rotation action, huh? Playing a little 9BZ? Little 9BZ? Nine, nine ball? It's on the tight table, too. And Adrian doesn't even care. Doesn't even care. If he saw the camera, he would care. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Based. <laughs> See if we got anything out front. Daisy in full swing. She's lost the sweatshirt. She's ready to work. Duffy, not ready to work. He's still got the sweatshirt on. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to hit some balls. Here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Is that a magic wand? Yeah, what's he doing with that thing? Don't play with it, man. Nick from Q and Case. 
Who is that? Nick. From Q and Case. Hmm. Lukazi. Oh. oh. Let's see what's over here. Oh, snap. Ross is back. That was fast. Sorry, guys. That was a lot faster than I thought. I'm pretty sure this is off the break. He must have made like 20 balls on the break. Shannon, I was waiting for somebody to say that. with Bilbo. <laughs> oh, are we going on the... No, you can't. Yeah. Go. Go. cue ball in a perfect spot to stick him right up behind that four. Yeah. I'll miss getting behind the four and leave the one ball like in the side pocket. That's yeah. my That's my move. good I think he left an escape yeah but I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's hooked I think he can kick behind it actually kick behind it just stop people that's what like I mean about two the escape, rails yeah. towards the 10 if he can see the whole ball he's gonna be oh. locked up behind the four. Oh, maybe Dang. not Jesus Christ. Try and do that, guys. Just try try and do that shot and make it look that easy. He hit it alright. know how to do an oops emoji that they're so small emojis are so small <laughs> mad dog yeah not hard that's not a hard shot It's looking like, in the end,
this set is not going to be close, which is a little unfortunate, but we just ended up with full swing Jeremy Long. It happens, though. I mean, every every even match, even, right? Like, I can guarantee you, and I'm not saying I'm, like, way better than Grubs. That's not what I'm saying. We're at, It's a fairly close game, but I think I have the edge. But that being said, there will be games where we race to 13, and he beats me 13 to 4. You know what I mean? Because, trust me, God Mode Grubs is... It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're currently witnessing a little... Something close to God Mode Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Randy. Careful there. <laughs> nice recovery. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the one ball. <laughs> I was a little confused. So he give, he's giving the push back, right? I think you got to give this back. Yeah. Exactly, oh, Nate. Exactly. <laughs> it was a hanger, guys. Yeah. He just pushes out to there because he knows he's going to make the ball and then be able to play a kick safe on the two or a thin safe. What? I thought he was going to kick the ball. Wow, that turned out That's perfect. That's a strong shot right there. That turned out just about perfect. Good night, Edie. Oh my god. Put him right on the back of the nine. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Not only is he playing great, folks, but. Yeah. He's got a few little. Little. Uh, yeah. I mean, you have to hit it to get lucky, but. No good. There it is. No the way no. Um, I was I was watching one of the videos when you were in uh, Vegas. Yeah. And, uh, I thought it was live, and I was like. Put the 
freedom. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and then and then I realized you weren't live. I was like, oh, all right, well. Oh, it's okay. You won't, you're not the first, and you won't be the last. <laughs> Go inside with uh, or back cut it with inside three rails. Easy. I actually kind of. Take it easy, Nate. What time? Probably eight. Eight thirty. Yeah. Uh, yes, Odium. I did because I had originally scheduled it for Easter Sunday. I figured it wasn't a good day, so I'll probably do it on Monday or Wednesday. He's got a real nice draw stroke. Good lord. Oh, man. He's got that finger claw, too. The, mm -hmm. the, the ring finger that, like, like, I can't even do it. What? My ring finger doesn't... This is all I can do with my ring finger. Like, you got this thing going on? Yeah. I think I do this. I think you do. I think you actually have a little bit of the ring finger too. No, I think it's this one. Is it? Ba -dum -bum -bum -ba -dum. Yeah, Lisa Love, it's going to be great. Great. Don't, don't, don't. Ba -dum 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 -dum. Is it a one day thing or? What? The, come on. Mikazi? Yeah. The West Coast Tour? Yeah. Definitely not a one day thing. Okay. 
I think we're expecting somewhere between 80 and 130 players. Mm. One ball gets kissed, or I mean cue ball, sorry. One ball is going to dress up right in front of the corner. Two ball ties up near the seven. I don't know if it has a pocket. It's got, it can go in the bottom right. Easy. Either one. Yeah. Either or. That'll work. The even three move, ball even move the ten a little bit, just so it makes there's <laughs> there's a wider window for yeah. position on the three. Yeah. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head, Sensei Nate. Let me check if it's on the flyer. Yes, I believe it's template rack. I'm pretty sure it's template rack. <coughs> it's nine on the spot. It's match room break rules, so I believe it's temper template rack. shot here the outcome here will dictate whether or not I, I would assume for the eight he wants to be either sorry yeah on the eight he wants to be like maybe there, not there or like, the, like the here yeah, yeah. or You know, under the eight here is tough, but still doable right. to play speed. Uh, over the eight here is no good. You ideally you want to be following this line. Right. Ooh, little hits the point and and gets. Look, he, he waves. <laughs> he waves because he hit it with the speed to come this way, but he hits the shim. And, and slows down enough to get pretty much perfect, perfect. to go two Dead rails perfect. and yeah, out yeah, to the yeah. perfect spot on the eight. Oh, man. Maybe even one rail with inside. I go two rails. I don't know. Yeah. Just like that. Wow. God, when you're hitting them good, sometimes they just... Yeah. They, it's like they, they just know. fall good. It's like the balls know. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Ms. Rabbit. She's been busy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that ball never goes in if, uh, if I'm shooting it. And Joey Jabron is in the building, by the way. Just in case you couldn't hear him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! He's sitting in the chair over there, like grinning the whole time, too. <laughs> like, like as the nine ball falls in, he's like, oh! Uh, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you think we could do... We could, I'll put 20 on it for, for Jeremy to win this next game. <laughs> Do 
Dylan. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! One or a ball on the side. One ball goes in the corner. Two ball close to the cue ball. Definitely in a position where you can, what you might say, retain control of the table. No. No. No, I don't think so. Hey, Ms. Rabbit, what dates are the, is that ultimate pool thing in Louisiana? I'm going to see if I can for, afford the tickets right now. The flight. So I go out there on the 18th and come back on the 20th. Let's see how much it costs. Oh, <laughs> I'm wondering why it looked so expensive. I'm using a New Zealand VPN right now. Oh. So it was in New Zealand dollars. Right, 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 right. NZD. Still five hundred freaking dollars. Freaking dollars. For a flight to where? Round trip to Louisiana. Really? I think that wouldn't be any more than like of course I don't know. But I thought it would be like two or three hundred. Round trip now. Yeah. <clears throat> FY United. Merch. Merch of bags. Yeah. Hey, I could get a I could get a hundred and sixty one dollars round trip. If on the way there, I just take a 39-hour layover in Las Vegas. What's that? Sorry. I said I can, I can get there round trip for $161. If on the way there, I just take a 39-hour layover in Las Vegas. Dang. <laughs> Let's just go. Instead of spending 500, why don't we just spend 5,000? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you can't do anything wrong <laughs> yeah. yeah you know he just tries to scratch in the side pocket and it just hits the point mm -hmm.
I gotta go talk to Mike. Perfect. <laughs> Again? No? <laughs> He's flirting with that side pocket. Hey, how you doing? what I'm saying. That's the way a pool is sometimes. And easy game. And he's been breaking good, too. Didn't get positioned on the one ball this time. Oh. Yeah, sodiums. Better believe it, Cannon.
Um, I don't recall Oliver and Jeremy matching up. That would be interesting. It's hard when you get down so far early too. I really like Jeremy, but I agree that Oliver's got the edge in the long run. I'd like to see it, though. <laughs> Dang. Damn, now you got me uh, hungry, John. I'm not going to lie, the best kind of tacos are the kind of tacos that, well... Or on somebody else, you know. Yeah, 12-2. 
the scoreboard only goes up to 11 apparently what it looks like so On the hill. That's what I saw. And, you know. Uh, Ross doesn't have anything to say. I mean, I'm sure it's like. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's like he bent, you know. Jeremy plays a safe, he banks at it, and it hangs up. And Yeah, you know, I mean, it's every, just everything's like, con conspiring against Ross. Jeremy's playing fantastic. Everything, it's, uh, it's just, not only conspiring against Ross, but also conspiring for Jeremy. Right. So, it's just this is this put, is variance. Pull. This, is, this is variance right here. Yeah. This is the whole you know, you you get in the coin flip. You know, you got tens versus ace king, right? Four times in a row, and you lose. You know, right? <laughs> and and Ross is gonna be. It's it's actually sets like this where. I don't enjoy doing this part, but the reality is Ross is just like, what What are you going to do? Right. You know, there's yeah. nothing to do here. Just wait till you get an opportunity and then hope. Right. Because even if you do get the opportunity and you do get it six or seven times, you're still not the favorite to win. Right. Trying to go right in between these balls. He's not going to. He's trying to split them right there. The speed he was going in there, it was as if he was trying to hit the top half of the four ball. Right. But this is just going to lock up the four. And the best safe here, the best kick safe is to go real slow, but then you're trusting the table. Right. And then if you hit... And you have to hit and, it great. And, and you can't hit the six. And you have to hit it great. Like, like you hit the six and it's... He's trying to slow roll it. You got to hit it great. Oh. Oh, oh God. God. That's, that's so close so... to so good. Yeah. That's, uh, that is so close to so like, good. Just... What can you do? Yeah. Brutal. Turns out flying into Shreveport, where, which is closer to the venue yeah. for the ultimate pool thing, yeah. is like $200 cheaper round trip <laughs> wow. than flying into New Orleans, hmm. which is crazy. And then Mike was like, it's probably because they got a casino out there. They're waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> They're waiting uh, for you, Collins. The, uh, the, air, the airport's in with the uh, casinos. They 100% they are in Vegas. There's no chance they are not in Vegas. The airports would right. be dumb to not get a piece of that action. Right. You can get flights from Sacramento to Las Vegas. Yeah. Round trip for $100. For a large portion of the year. Wow. There's no chance that that is a profitable ticket for the airline. Right. Unless the casinos are kicking them something. Right. It's got a little funny angle here. It's, it's not little, terrible, it's but it's awkward. it's a little weird. Yeah. Nah, no, you can just draw back, Kenny. I think he's gonna draw to the bad side of the nine. Yeah, that's why he went oh. forward with inside. Nice shot. Nice shot. Okay. Well, guys, uh, we like to have really close matches on this channel, and often we do, but Jeremy Long is next level today and getting all the rolls, and Ross not able to 
fire back because he's been in his chair so long and things are going rough. Look, look, Jeremy knows. Look at the, <laughs> the smirk on his face. He knows. And Jer- and, and Ross is kind of like, eh, you know, trying to. It, it's it's cool to see action like this where both guys are, you know, pleasant after a situation like that because it's very right. easy. It's very easy when the set goes that way to feel like someone's pulling one on you. But uh, just based on the body language, I can tell that Ross doesn't feel that way. So, right. Yeah. It was a. Uh, you know, one of those sets. That's just the way it goes sometimes. So I am going to kill the stream pretty quick here, guys. I'm going to go hand Jeremy the cash. And uh, we're going to be back live tomorrow sometime between 11 and noon Pacific uh, to get things kicked off. And actually, let me give you a quick little uh, let me give you a quick little preview of the overlay. Check this out, guys. Is this, is this all set up? Yeah. Okay, well, it would look something like this. There you go. So tomorrow, we're coming back for the Lukasi West Coast Tour. Day number one. Stop number one. We've got, uh, I think they're going to be announcing the dates and locations for the next two stops during the tournament. They will announce them. Uh, No spoilers. We got this one. We got this here. And then we got this little overlay here. It's going to look sharp, guys. We are hanging out tomorrow and Sunday. Grubs, thanks for hanging out with me all the time. Yeah. This is yours, man. Oh, thank you. And uh, shout out to the players who played tonight. Shout out to uh, Bones and, and Joaquin Collado. And, uh, of course, these guys. Shout out to Ross Grosso for being such a good sport. Oh, yeah. About the set because, you know, it is what it is. Yep. Anyway, good shooting, Jeremy. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Rock and roll. See you later.